this is Fountain Pendulum. Here I have five inks that I got from Wonder Pens in Toronto to swatch together with you. And I'll go over my setup really quick. Here I have one of the inks. It's the Wonder Pens exclusive with Ferris Wheel Press. It's called the Writing Desk. So that'll be the first ink we swatch. And we also have Private Reserve Avocado and three Kobe inks. I have these set up in my Fountain Pendulum modular set. So on this end, I have the slots for my ink samples. And on this end, I've got a tray with my Sailor Hokoro Dipton Fude. I've been really enjoying that for ink swatching lately. And this is a modular set, so you can separate them and use them together or separate as you choose. I have Claire Fontaine paper. I'm using my Nicole Josephine um, brass clip to keep my notebook flat and open for me, as well as I'm going to be using some clear stamps for my ink swatching for fun today, and these are also from Nicole Josephine. Then I also have this, it's a bronze with metallic stamp pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp up my page and then we'll get to the swatching together. Alright, here we go, starting off with this Wonder Pens exclusive ink. So this is a medium brown with a green sheen and I'll be showing you all of the inks once they're dry. Next we're going to have the Private Reserve Avocado. This is my second time getting an ink swatch of the same ink and I really enjoyed it the first time. It's a really great green, very saturated and rich.
now we have the three Kobe inks. So let's see the order here. Yeah, let's go in order. So the first one would be Kobe number 22, Shikaichi Gold. I've been really into mustard colors ever since getting my Sailor Poe Gear Slim Moroccan Tea Time with sugar. So here, Kobe number 22. I'm actually really looking forward to inking my sealer with this in the future. In the near future, hopefully. Won't that be a match? Okay, next up. Sailor Kobe number 39, Ringa. I love this color. So when I went to Wonder Pens to get samples, let me interject myself here. Sailor Kobe number 68, Mako West Pearl Blue. When I went to Wonder Pens to get samples, um, I've been really interested in Kobe inks lately, and I downloaded um, like a sheet that had all their colors that they've added over the years. And then I took the list with me and asked basically for that list, whatever they might have. And these were the only ones that they had from the list. So as I'm looking at my swatching, especially with the exclusion of this pearl blue, it's very autumn, isn't it? But that's just what I got. That's what they had available. And maybe that's kind of my gravitational leaning anyway, but that's lovely. It's like a nice pastel grayish blue. So these will be drawing. And I actually have them swatched on my coloring swatch cards so I can show you what they look like dry. Um, and maybe they'll be somewhat dry by the time I'm done showing you these, enough to kind of take a look anyway. So here's the Ferris wheel press 
and Wonder Pen's exclusive writing desk. So really nice medium brown. It, that's definitely a true um, description and nicely saturated. Pretty pretty good green sheen on that. I'm really glad, glad that they did something a little bit interesting with that. Okay, then here is Private Reserve Avocado. It's picking up a bit brighter on the camera. It's a little bit more toward a, um, a deeper green than what's picking up. And the Kobe inks. So here's Kobe number 22, Shinkai G Gold. Lovely, I really love this one. Beautiful shader. Kobe number 39, Renga. You can see just the faintest green sheen around the perimeter with high saturation there. And finally, Kobe number 68, Mega West Pearl Blue. Also a really nice shader. So let me lift this up, give you a look at it now that it's everything's quite dry except number 22. So I'm glad I showed you the swatches because they are a bit larger and can kind of show things a little bit better. But this is really fun. I really like doing it with the stamps. It's fun to experience inks in creative ways and on different papers. You could probably hear quite a bit of feedback on this uh, Claire Fontaine paper with the Hokuro because it's smooth on smooth paper, but it's pretty feedbacky on on this paper. You could probably hear the feedback that it was picking up there. But yeah, it was really fun to do it with this stamp set and just be a little bit more um, creative with it. So I hope this was interesting for you guys to check out. And as I'm exploring um, ink samples and my special interest in Kobe, let me know what some of your favorites are. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one, and it's all up to you now. Enjoy.